Ooh, it's Rocco with Twin Turbo Garage. I wanted to give, you know, make a video here and give you all an update on what all is going on. Uh, I finally got the clear on the 57. Um, and I got some, some new kits. <laughs> some new kits, I mean, kits I've not even seen before. Um... One second here, and I'll grab them for y'all so y'all can see them here. Okay. You ready? There you go. There's this one right here. As you can tell by the boxes, <laughs> my uncle, he used to go to, he used to build these and take them to shows. Um, and, uh, he eventually stopped doing the hobby. Um, you know, life came into play and he got him a bigger, better job and you know, that kind of stuff took over. So he, you know, he stopped, stopped, basically stopped doing it, you know. Um, and then I, I had talked to him. He found out that I was into it. Um, and I got some kits off of him. He brought me down, uh, uh, what was it, like six of them? Um, here's the next one. The Lincoln Pro Street. It's pretty cool. It's basically the same exact kit as the Firebird. Except it's got a Lincoln body. Hmm, that's it. Okay. And there's a couple more here. Let me see if I can't reach them here. Sorry about all the shakiness, guys. Ready? Here you go. Here's another one. 91 Mustang GT convertible. pretty cool um, I like them pretty good um, they're fun I've done a couple Mustangs I'm really not a big Mustang guy um, I'm a big pro street guy though so you'll see you'll see over time that I love to do pro street builds I love doing pro street builds. Um, that's just my thing. The next kit I got, um, let me show y'all here. Um, I'm going to point you over here at the Firebird for a second. Okay. Let's see if I can lean it back here a little bit. It's three in one box, three in one box. It's the Thunderbird, the Beretta, and then a blown Fiber. It's pretty cool. I love the motor in this one. This is cool as hell. It's got big old nice detail carburetors. The Beretta. And then the Firebird. It's blowing 350. It's going to be cool. But, you know, there was only one catch to getting these. They've been sitting in the shed for quite a few years and when I opened the box you know when I got them the corner of a couple of the boxes is you know was like tore up and chewed up from where there's in the country you know mice and stuff um, and this is how the interior turned uh, some of the pieces look now I've washed a couple of them it all washes out you know just fine 
you know, but this is what I got to start out with, all this poop, <laughs> rat poop in them. Um, but they wash out good and they clean up all right. And uh, Other than that, they're all new kits, like here's the Firebird. You know, you can see how it's got some stuff's got the poop in it and how, you know, the glass is dirty. But the chrome, you know, the chrome still looks good. You know, the body's still in really good shape. You know, they just need cleaned up and everything. But uh, here's the 57. I finally got the clear coat on it. And it just, it turned out fabulous. I, there's no complaints whatsoever. I think it's just, just amazing. She'll be done today. <clears throat> I've been working on her a little bit this morning. But I'm going to finish her up here very shortly. Um, hopefully nothing happens and gets in my way. Um, you know how it goes though, you start building it and a little idea pops in your head and you go off into that idea and by the time you're done with it, you know, it's already the middle of the night. Um, but hopefully I get, go ahead and at least, uh, get the interior in, get the chassis on it, get the chassis put up in it, uh, get the carbs put on the motor and and uh, work my way to getting the bumpers and the, the tail fin pieces and stuff on. Then probably won't go on to tomorrow because it'll have to set and everything dry and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm getting it done. I hope y'all like, um, you know, what I showed y'all and stuff. And I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to build the Pro Street Beretta. I haven't ever done one of them. I looked at the chassis and everything. It seems a little bit like a lot different, actually, compared to the, the Thunderbird I did. And also the uh, the Thunderbird on the, the Big 3 kit. It, it's built pretty different compared to the other one I did. And they're, they're all quite, actually, pretty big. Um, and they're molded in the collars, actually. Oh, wait, wait, one second here, I'll show you, actually. Here's the Beretta. They're actually pretty big kits. comes with this thing is pretty cool like you see here's some junk on it it's got a blower that goes on top of it it's got all the chrome the chassis down there with the big tubes it's going to be a fun kit man i can't wait to start that thing okay let me put it back to you though i showed you that stuff the long 350 firebird right there yeah Coming. Uh, there's the red one. Appreciate you too. Hit me up.